It says, Almighty God, who has committed to the hands of men the ministry of reconciliation, we humbly beseech thee by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit to put into the hearts of many to offer themselves for this ministry, that hereby mankind may be drawn to thy blessed kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And I'll do one more. Almighty God, by whose providence thy servant John Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way of thy Son, our Savior, by preaching repentance. Make us so to follow his doctrine in holy life that we may truly repent according to his preaching and after his example constantly speak the truth, boldly rebuke vice and patiently suffer for the truth's sake through the same thy son jesus christ our lord amen well these are the last prayers that i'm reading I may, you know, get through to a couple people, but if people would rather see hell, it's just like that saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. Well, I can keep speaking the word, but nobody wants to hear it. Or listen to it so why keep giving it to him why keep speaking it I already know it so I mean there will be a day, there will be a time, you will be there. Books will be opened, and he'll say, did you turn away from your wicked ways, evilness, and all that? You can't fool him. He's taking account. Every second your heart beats. Huh. I would honestly think about, you know, 
reading a little bit of the Bible for yourself. Repenting. I didn't even know it was a sin to smoke. But apparently it is. So, you know, I'm just done with it. Like, I'd rather my soul go to a good place for, you know, an eternal life than fire and damnation sulfur brimstone and worms and bugs and everything else this is about the fourth time i've seen that car go by so for all you that didn't listen to the words that I were that I was speaking to all the prayers and basically uh, many preachings, many preachings, because they were basically cut down to you know. 15 to 20 minutes of me speaking the word right out of this book, this book. I feel sorry, I do. But If you didn't want to listen to God's word and you didn't want to listen to me speak it, well, that's not my fault. That's not my fault at all. So, all I could do was speak, give it to you, and if you listen to it and, you know, something came out of it, you were able to, you know, stop some of your vices. You know, I was looking to kill two birds with one stone without actually have to, having to put people on blast. So, this is the last time that I say a prayer before that happens. So, you know, my gut feeling ain't lied to me yet. You know, who would turn off all the lights in the middle of the night in the dark and throw something out of I don't know. All I can say is before I start putting people on blast, I know 
all these people around here are in violation. I'm done with it. I woke up. My phone said missed alarm at three, three o'clock. I want to say three o'clock, but it also said reboot. It shouldn't have said neither of those things. I don't have problems with my phone like that where, you know, my alarms don't go off. Yeah, windows open again. I got that. But nobody lives there. How amazing is that? Must be a ghost. <laughs> yeah. One day it's pulled down and, uh, you know, it's... it's uh, blinds next day it's wide open again So, I'm done preaching to the heathen. If you don't believe God exists, and you don't think that he's going to judge because, you know, you failed to repent, you failed to turn away from wickedness and evil, and you think, you know, he's going to do something good for you in the end, you're wrong. The book says, hold on. It says, O oh God, whose blessed Son was manifest, that he might destroy the works of the devil, make us the sons of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant us, we beseech thee, that having this hope, may purify ourselves, even as he is pure, that when he shall appear again with power and great glory, that we may be like unto him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where with thee, O Father, and thee, O Holy Ghost, he liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. But then it says, put on, therefore, as an elect of God, holy, beloved, a heart of compassion, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you also, do ye... And above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which ye, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be thankful, and let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in palms 
and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Amen. So, I might have had a handful of black and milds and backslid a little, but I'm done. I'm not going to let the little things get to me anymore. But everybody else that wants to stay with wickedness and evil and darkness and just everything that goes against the Bible and what, you know, it says to do, you do the opposite. Well, keep doing it. And then when you get to God, see where you go from there. That's all I can say. Because, you know, it says to spread his word. I spread it his word. I spread his word for a long time. I read his word. I went to his house. I sung his songs. I've helped others. I'm I'm sure that's more than most can say that they've done. So if I were you, I would get right in your heart. He can look into my heart and he can know what's in my heart. So if I were you, I would definitely repent and get right in the heart. I wish you well. God bless.